Hey folks, welcome to V5 Bricks. My name's Dom and I hope you're doing well. In today's video, this is my custom Partisan X-Wing. It's got an easy opening S-foil function, underside storage compartment, has space for an astromech droid companion, and a spacious cockpit with Morof as its pilot. It's really sturdy and swishable, and I've given it a nice smooth tiled black and white finish. It also features front and rear landing gear. The Partisans are a sort of renegade rebel cell that's willing to do whatever it takes against the Empire. This dude, Bentek, I think he's called, is one of the more memorable characters from Rogue One. We did see the origins of them in Star Wars Clone Wars and Rebels with the Saw Gerrera storylines, and it was a really interesting conflict within the Rebellion. But I really like the look of Morov, and his minifig is really cute. He's a sort of snow wookie. <laughs> and I hope we see more of him and the partisans in the new Andor TV show. Personally, I think the distinctive black and white X-Wings they use are awesome, and it's a real shame we only see a glimpse of a crashed one in Jeddah City and also parked outside the HQ on the outskirts. It was a bit of a missed opportunity not to see them in action. Along with the U-Wings we see in the Rebels TV show, they make a really interesting take on the colour scheme and the T-65 X-Wing in general. And I hope I've done it justice. And you know, you never know, Lego might actually make one of these if it's featured in the Andor TV show. I also wanted to add something that no official set has done yet, and that is this storage hatch underneath, which Lego themselves never seem to incorporate. Essentially, it is a lunchbox, because I have enough space for a couple of pizzas in here, but I reckon Morov is more of a seafood fan, so he's got a wee bit of a cooked lobster in here for his lunch. <laughs> it's really sturdy with no weak points, I can hold it anywhere, even at the nose, and this is an essential thing for all my mocks, especially as the kids play with them, and this thing has to be really solid to put up with the punishment of play. The wings do have a slight teensy gap, but that's due to the elastic bands. I reused older ones and they are a bit loose, and when they're doubled up it's actually too tight, so I kinda need to get some new ones to make it work better. But as you can see, when it's opened up it's not really a big deal, and I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. And because there's a second set of elastics at the front behind the engine, this makes it a really strong mechanism, and see, it snaps open and closed with ease, it's brilliant. Compare this with the resistance one, I've got the blue one here, I feel this is actually a huge step up. The twist function was quite good on the old version, but the single elastics at the rear just pull it too tight. The version of the mechanism I went for is the 2018 Lux Red 5, which I have the instructions for, and it's a far superior mechanism than anything previous, especially as it doesn't open up in flight. The Resistance one suffers really badly from this, and it's super frustrating. So as you can see, this works so much better and it doesn't open when I lift it like this. The other thing with all previous X-Wings and even the 2018 version was this rather inaccurate nose. It's so flat, it has so much studs on it and I feel it's a bit too narrow. These angled bits are okay, but the hinges look a bit pants. And it used to be hard to get the shape in Lego, but not anymore. It can be done so much better with the parts we have these days. I tried a few different designs, and in the end I settled on this. There is that incline upwards. I've got the two-tone coloration here. It tapers to the nose a bit better underneath and on the sides. And not a stud in sight, which makes me really happy. <laughs> 
there's nothing too complicated here. This is done with some angled plates on hinges and these white modified plates on the side. And these connections are all pretty good. It doesn't just crumble and fall apart when you pick it up in your hand. Towards the cockpit area, these curved tiles do the job just fine. Hopefully from this footage here, you can get an idea of how this is achieved. It's really quite simple. Oh, and the cockpit has plates on hinges too. It's the best way of getting those angles. And further back, I've used a few slopes to, to good effect to kind of get that curved bit between the engine and the cockpit. So this whole mock, it actually started as a rebuild of a spare pose black X-Wing I have and it did reuse a big chunk of the black pieces and the main frame but the wing and nose build is totally different of course. And now I've got a whole bunch of quite useful orange pieces to add to the collection. And the transformation is quite stark when you think about it. And you know, I love tiles, so this thing is really smooth, there's no studs anywhere, it's something that LEGO really could do better with. To keep me right with the black and white markings, I used this toy as a guide, but I wanted to also make mine slightly different, just like all the Rogue Squadron X-Wings and the Rebel Alliance aren't all the same. But that said, the triangular white markings are roughly correct on both sides. However, I wanted to use white for the curved engine pieces, and I think it fits a wee bit better. I also added some sand, blue and tan tiles just for effect, like sort of battle damage and wear and tear. The landing gear on all the previous X-Wings has pretty much been the same. The nose is quite fine, I suppose. It, it does protrude a wee bit, but these inverted wedges underneath just don't do it, man. My front skid is hidden by the fuselage, and this is easily done. And similarly, with the rear, it should come out where the engines are, and I made a super simple hinge. It's the perfect height, and it takes the weight. And when you're flying it about and playing, you can't see it at all. It, it gives the underside a nice, smooth appearance, just as it should. And it takes two seconds to open it to land, which is great for the kids when they're playing. So it's looking pretty sweet, it swooshes good, it's not too heavy, it has a better wing mechanism and it's quite a unique colour scheme, it's really different. And hopefully it's quite a close resemblance to the real thing. And hey, Morof I'm sure will be happy to fly about in it. In my next Star Wars build, I'm going to rebuild my U-Wing into the Partisan's black and white version and I'll be converting the blue resistance X-Wing into blue leader from Rogue One, so keep an eye out for that. If you enjoyed the video and you think the mock is pretty decent, then I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And while you're here, why not check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you next time. Bye!